What's going on fellow pilots? I hope you're having a good holiday season. Many things have come into the marketplace over the last couple of weeks. It's about time to find out what is new and what is fascinating out there, shall we? So but before anything, go ahead and subscribe for future notifications on flight simming, updates, patches, anything interesting in flight simming. This is your place. First up in line is the Flight Beam Studios, which is a renowned developer with a good reputation in Microsoft Flight Simulation and other many platforms. This has come out with their KIAD Airport, which is the Washington Dulles Airport. We all know DC, this is the capital of the United States of course, an important part of the country with many areas of interest. This city alone has 74 national landmarks. The package which is the KIAD airport comes with custom PBR texturing for all buildings in and around the airport. It has good night lighting which is realistic, jetways that are custom as well as animated and also local points of interest which include the air and space museum in this package. So static aircrafts are visible throughout the airport and this is available for $19.99. So for those of you who are already members including Prepare3D customers, you can bag a 30% discount on this. Some of the features in this airport pack is that there are many upgrades when you compare it to the Prepare3D version. You can find a lot of PBR materials throughout the airport region along with the detailed FPO for small aircraft operations. You can also find many clutter objects as well as vehicles that can be found in the airport. This consists of sloped runways along with hand-painted exit marks. The airport roadways are detailed with surroundings and so far Flight Beam states that there are many other points of interest along with the Air and Space Museum. Remember one thing guys, Flight Beam Studios is a very good developer. I've got a chance to review some of their work and they seem to be working exceptionally well in this platform and they can deliver good performance in FPS as well as the quality. The way I look at it is frames per second certainly matters in any airport and some developers out there can always deliver exceptional products and some of them can always deliver products which will really not perform well in airports and Flight Beam Studios are known to deliver good products. I mean, you can't go wrong with this developer, guys. I can bet there are many other developers who are new. They're always keen on porting airports from other platforms directly towards Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, that is not a good practice. But Flight Beam Studios, on the other hand, do a fine job. And you can't go wrong with that. Next up in line is the Simworks Studios. They've recently announced the Zenith CH701 STOL aircraft for Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is right now in development for the simulator and the ultralight aircraft is popular amongst pilots and thanks to its short takeoffs as well as landing capacities and also the powerful engines and maneuverability. So this was first introduced in 86. This aircraft which is the STOL CH701 has actually been developed with the help of other partners too. We don't have the exact nitty gritty details about this aircraft yet and we hope to get some news on this soon. Another development from Simworks is the Maya Weller Dilu Airport. This is a small GA airport that's located in the countryside of Portugal and Simworks Studios is now a partner of Orbex Simulations. We all know Orbex, one of the top premium partners of Microsoft Flight Simulator. This airport is a countryside airport that's been surrounded by hills, and other good sceneries which is quite perfect for VR flying around Europe. I would certainly take an opportunity to try this with a beautiful TBM if I were you and discover all of Europe at my own pace. This airport has an animated hangar along with workers around. It also has detailed interiors of the airport terminals where you can also find plenty of plane spotters. One of the prominent structures of this specific pack is that you can find the Torre do Lidador. I hope I pronounced it right. This is an easy landmark that can be distinguished for you which is basically a 22-story high-rise when you fly towards the airport. 
Other features in this pack can include high quality details of buildings in and around the airport, highly detailed interiors in the terminal building. There's a custom tunnel that's been located under runway 16, which can be quite interesting. Plane spotters, as mentioned before, workers around the airport, this can also add another touch of realism. It's always interesting to see some of the workers trying to guide you when you're trying to park your plane while taxiing back after you land. So this can also add another point of realism which can be interesting. And also that landmark which is the Torre do Leader Door. Along with this package you can get repaints of the Cessna C172, the Cessna C152 as well as the Savage Cub. So this is actually a bonus you get repaints of three aircrafts which is definitely good. Next in line is the Mac Simulations Manchester Airport, which is the EGCC. This developer is new to the platform and this is their first add-ons. The airport is located in the north of England and it is the busiest airport in the country that welcomes both international as well as domestic flights. Now, we have been seeing numerous new developers. It's quite important for all of us to embrace them and welcome them into the platform. Few developers have just ported airports directly and it's definitely not good practice. And we hope to see good standards that have been implemented from Osobo as well as Microsoft towards making sure that the standard and the quality of add-ons can be right with the best practices. So we need to make sure that new developers who come into place can always deliver quality stuff. So hopefully this airport should be good. Now this current pack is right now under development, meaning the developers are taking time to make sure that any other features that can be excited can be added towards the final code. So there's an early access that's available. This includes features like PBR textures throughout the airport, custom models along with ground textures, night lighting that should be well done because the team has spent considerable amount of time to see that the development is in place specifically for this code, that is the night lighting. Other features like taxiway signs, the ILS, custom jetways and runway warning lights are part of this pack. This is available for 1070 right now for this early access. The price is going to go higher to $13.50, so this can be purchased at the Maco website. And so it's, it's up to you to decide whether or not you really want to jump and test out this new developer. We're pretty positive that they would certainly do a good job because this is where the future belongs in flight simulation. And also something to note is that this developer believes in transparency and you can see the progress on their website about their current project so it's always good to see any corrections any updates coming up for any of their packs which they plan to implement as well as the current projects gaia simulations this is another quite a developer guys who spends a good amount of time and effort to research every aspect of development in scenery making I can't stress this enough, there are many primary developers who have been partnered with Microsoft as well as Asobo and Gaia Simulations as well as Orbix is definitely one of them. Now Gaia Simulations recent release of the Sankt Johan Airport is definitely another beautiful addition towards Microsoft Flight Simulator and that's located between many other interesting airports like the Zell AMC, the Salzburg and the Innsbruck. So it can be the right destination for you to try out VFR flying if you plan to. This is sold at $12 and this can be an interesting airport which has features that include good amount of details that's been focused on the rendition of the airport. It has been fully optimized for ultra smooth performance. I certainly hope that the frames per second should not be an issue specifically for this point. It includes custom animations and also custom made points of interest in and around the airport. The high quality 3D assets that's been placed around the airport can hopefully create an ultra realistic experience. Another developer like Terrainy Studios have released Samos Airport for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now they've actually spent some considerable amount of time to make sure that this airport located in the Greek island is known for its challenging approach. So it's definitely a good airport for challenging approaches if you're interested in. And one of the features of this airport is that it has highly detailed 3D models of this renovated airport. It has accurate apron runways which have been laid out. It also includes up to 8K textures exclusively utilizing PBR materials. 
Along with that, it has custom buildings as well as landmarks that include schools, churches, hotels, beaches and many more. It has custom made villages around the airport which include the Porokaki, the Iron, as well as the Pythagorio. Some other interesting features include accurate approaches that have been approved by real world pilots as well as realistic 3D night lighting. It has custom placed vegetation and it is perfect as it includes VFR landmarks that have been scattered throughout the island. This airport is sold for $24. Now it is up to you to decide if you want to take an opportunity to try out this airport. At the end of the day, the decision is yours. Make sure you do some homework. Well, all right, guys, this is pretty much the update for the marketplace as of today, which is the 6th of December. I certainly hope you enjoyed the video. Thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't subscribed for more updates on this regard. So take care and enjoy and look forward for more videos from my end. Have a good rest of the day and stay tuned guys.